In this chapter, I cover so far low-pass filters, but there are more types of filters out there. I will briefly talk about high-pass filter and uh, band-pass filter, and why I say briefly is because once you understood very well low-pass filter, it will be very easy for you to understand other types of filters. Alright, now let's summarize what we have learned until now. All electrical signals contain a mixture of desired frequency components and undesired frequency components. The undesired frequency components are typically caused by noise and interference, and in some situations they will negatively affect the performance of a system. A filter is a circuit that reacts in a different ways to different portions of a signal spectrum. A low-pass filter is designed to pass low-frequency components and block high-frequency components. The cutoff frequency of a low-pass filter indicates the frequency region in which the filter is transitioning from low attenuation to significant attenuation. The output voltage of an RC low-pass filter can be calculated by treating the circuit as a voltage divider consisting of a frequency-independent resistance and a frequency-dependent reactance. A plot of magnitude versus logarithmic frequency is a convenient and effective way to examine the theoretical behavior of a filter. You can also use a plot of phase versus logarithmic frequency to determine the amount of phase shift that will be applied to an input signal. A second order filter provides a steeper roll-off. Uh, this second order response is helpful when a signal does not provide a wide band of separation between desired frequency components and undesired frequency components. You can create a second order RC low pass filter by building two identical first order RC low pass filters and then connecting the output of one to the input of the other.